Well, in this video you will learn line drawing algorithm using an example so first of all as we all know this is the equation for the straight line y equal to mc plus v where m is the slope of the line and v is the y intercept we can calculate the value for m using this equation and value for v using this equation here we have popular algorithms for line drawing that is dd algorithm bresenum algorithm midpoint line drawing algorithm in this video we will discuss dd algorithm dd means distal differential analyzers and this is the simplest line drawing algorithm and it is used to generate lines triangle and polygons here we have steps for dd algorithm in the first step we will read the line and points as you know we can generate the line by using two point in order to generate a straight line we need two endpoints so first of all we will read the line endpoints here we have two endpoints x1 y1 and x2 y2 after that we will calculate the value for delta x and delta y delta x is x2 minus x1 delta y is y2 minus y1 then we will check the value for if delta x is greater than delta y then length is delta x else length is delta y if the value of delta x is equal to delta y then we will consider the value delta x as the length in the step 4 we will select the raster unit where we will update the value for delta x and delta y using these equations and either delta x or delta y will be 1 because the length is either x2 minus 1 x2 minus x1 or y2 minus y1 thus the incremental value for x and y will be 1 in the fifth step we have to find the point x and y and using this equation we can find the point x and y here you can see this is the sine function and this is the value of delta x and the sine function make the algorithm work in all quadrants it return minus 1 0 and 1 how it will return these values if the value of here you know the value of this value that is delta x or delta y is less than 0 then it will return minus 1 if the value of delta x or delta y is equal to 0 then 0 if the value of delta x or delta y is greater than 0 then 1 sixth step we will plot the point so for this we will check while the value of i is less than or equal to length if condition is true then we will plot the point after that we will generate the new point using these equations then we will increment i when the condition become false stop and draw the line so let's see this now using numerical example here we will implement the d algorithm to draw the line from 0, 0 to 6, 6. so in the step 1 we will read the points so we have two endpoints 0 0 and 6 6 value of x1 is 0 y1 is 0 x2 is 6 y2 is 6 so we will draw the line between two endpoints that is from 0 0 to 6 6 in the step 2 you can see here we will calculate the value for delta x and delta y delta x is x2 minus x1 so value of x2 is here 6 x1 is 0 that is 6 value for y1 is value for delta y is y2 minus y1 that is 6 in the step 3 now we will check the value is equal or greater so in this case as you can see according to this step value of delta x is equal to delta y so we will consider the length equal to delta x and the length of delta x is 6 in the step 4 now we will use the value that we calculated recently that is length is here now 6 and x2 minus x1 is 6 y2 minus y1 is also 6 and the length is here 6 now in the step 5 we have to find the point x and y now we will put the value here in this equation we will find the point x x1 plus 0.5 sine delta x here delta x is 1 as we calculated and 
delta y is also 1 and the value for x1 is you can see here value for x1 is 0 and value for y1 is also 0 and according to the rule if the value that is here it is greater than 0 then we will assign 1 so here we got 0 0.5 0 0.5 now we will plot the first point so put the value here so according to this step step number 5 now we have two points x y that is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 so now we will plot the integer 0 0.5 0 0.5 that is 1 1 so how we will put this point we will check the condition so value of i is right now 0 condition is true 0 is less than 6 then we will plot 1 1 here as you can see now we will find the next two points in order to generate the line so for again put the value of x here the value of x that we recently calculated is 0 0.5 and the value of delta x is 1 and the value of y is 0 0.5 and the value of delta y is 1 put the value of increment the value here we got the new value for i is 1 now we will plot 2 2 as you can see here we will check this condition put the value of i i is less than 1 that means condition is true so plot the next point that is 2 2 then calculate the values for the next point for x and y put the value of x and delta x y and delta y then increment the value of i until condition becomes false like that we will draw all the points on the screen as you can see here we have 0.77 that is the drawback of this algorithm okay that we will discuss in the next slide so as you can see in this step now the value of i is 7 false so stop and you can see the line the points we generated from 0, 0 to 6, 6. disadvantage of this algorithm is it is orientation dependent and the accuracy of the end point is very poor that's why we got the another point that is 7 7 advantage of this algorithm is it is simple and this algorithm does not require any special skill for the implementation and this algorithm is faster than the use of line equations so that's all about this video that is simple steps how to draw lines using dd algorithm as you can see first we will read the point after that we will change their position and then for the length you can see here so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video